Hey YouTube, just a quick video to show you uh, my operation of Star Fox 2. It's based on Stonerest FX PCB. Several points to talk about. Uh, first, it the uh, adapter for uh, the mask from. Uh, I made an adapter because, uh, well, uh, there's a lot of pin to weld and uh, well, it's much easier like that. Um, I'll try to add some picks to show you how it's uh, fixed. I used uh, 27C801 E Prom and uh, the adapter is a kind of uh, U. You just replace the uh, mask from. Uh, you can use uh, a hot hair station to uh, put the adapter, and then you just have to wire the uh, the pin of the A Prom. It's really really much easier to proceed like that. Um, it's like I don't know, let's say 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And that's all. The problem is fixed in one move at all. Uh, you can also see the uh, Super CIC key and come on, focus. Thank you. And uh, well, that's not sexy with all the wire, but uh, well, it's working and uh, it doesn't move, so just good enough. And uh, finally, I replace uh, all the um, oscillation circuit with the. Um, oh, was it again? Uh, the 74HCU04 uh, and all the resistance um, which are giving, um, uh, sorry, uh, which are giving the um, clock speed for the GSU. And uh, well, just remove everything and uh, put um, 50 megahertz SMD crystal oscillator and uh, 3 dot uh, 3 volt. Uh, voltage regulator uh, because uh, the circuit and um, the circuit and uh, the wall board are working on 5 volt and uh, not the SMD crystal. I just kept the uh, capacitor on the 5 uh, volt rail and uh, um, complete the circuit with the 10 ohm uh, resistor and uh, remove everything because I didn't need any more. And uh, well, I just put the battery on the back to have some more space um, for the EEPROM and well, that's all. I will uh, show you how it works on an actual console, so jump cut!
Whoa! <laughs> 